Welcome to SL Baina English. I am Sumulata, JVMC School RP Beta. If you like my videos, please like it, share it and subscribe it. Okay. Once upon a time. Sumulata from SL Baina English. Today we are going to learn the poem Once Upon a Time. It is written by Gabriel Mokara. An African poet. Okay. Once upon a time is a phrase used in fairy tales. Nowadays people's actions are like fairy tales only. That is uh, not real. Tales are not real. Okay. Once upon a time son, they used to laugh with their hearts and laugh with their eyes. But now they only laugh with their teeth, while their eyes, black, cold eyes, search behind my shadow. Once again, I read the poem. Stand up. Once upon a time, son, they used to laugh with their hearts and laugh with their eyes. But now, they only laugh with their teeth, while their eyes, black, cold eyes, search behind my shadow shadow okay according to the poet people laughed with their hearts and eyes once upon a time okay there is so much difference in people's love in the past and in the present that is nowadays okay nowadays people laugh with their teeth that is they laughed artificially and mechanically only they are not laughing really okay the expression eyes black cold eyes refer to eyes without any affection Off with the teeth illustrates someone showing false interest okay eyes black cold eyes it is dark imagery which shows that there is no emotion or feeling in that action okay they also looked at the background being uninterested in the man. Search behind his shadow means that people say things what do not mean, what they do not mean and express what they mean. Okay. In this stanza, the poet says to his son that he notices a marked change in the attitude of the people, those whom were once so genuine but they are not real now the poet tells his son that there was a time when people laughed and smiled heartily but at present they no, do not laugh like that they also looked at the background of the man that is the money of the man and indeed they used to shake hands with their hearts, but that's gone, son. Now they shake hands without hearts, while their left hands search my empty pockets. Once again, I read the stanza. There was a time, indeed, they used to shake hands with their hearts, but that's gone, son. Now they shake hands without hearts, while their left hands search my empty pockets itself symbolic the poet tells in the past time they used to shake hands with their hearts but but that gone son now they shake hands without hearts while their left hand search my empty pockets words hearts and faces refer to emotion in the past, they used to shake hands with their hearts. Okay. He says that people in the past showed emotions on their faces coming from the heart while shaking their hands. Okay. Or when laughing. We see the emotion in one's eyes in the past. Nowadays, while shaking hands, they see the money of the man, not his 
heart once or twice there will be no thrice for then i find door shut on me feel at home once twice there will be no thrice for then i find doors shut on me okay at the same time and also in the meanwhile okay here the poet says that people these days are not sincere when they say feel at home come again the poet expresses people's behavior by saying that that people invite others in a very friendly way but their actions do not match with that they say okay they invite others in friendly way but their actions do not match with that they say okay people invited somebody to come home but when that man visited them then they their reaction seems to be very different okay it's like they have shut the doors for that man or for any other guest if they behave like that they don't receive guests third time okay says that people these days are not sincere when they say feel at home come again the poet expresses people behavior by saying that people invite others in a very friendly manner but their actions do not match with that they say okay people invited somebody to come home but when that man visited them then their reaction seems to be very different it's like they have shut the doors for that man or for any other guest if they behave like that they don't receive guests third time okay at the same time for then means at the same time at the same time they shut the doors on their face only so i have learned many things son i have learned to wear many faces like dresses home face office face street face host face cocktail face with all their conforming smiles like a fixed portrait smile okay but once again i read so i have learned many things son i have learned to wear many faces like dresses home face office face street face host face cocktail face with all their conforming smiles like a fixed portrait smile this us that he has learned to deal with this unreal insincere world by changing himself like others he too has his real feelings not showing his real feelings now he tells his feelings to his son now he is hiding his real feelings he says that he has learned to wear many faces like dresses just like people keep changing dresses to suit different occasions the poet has learned to behave differently in different situations the father is not happy with all these mechanical behavior he tells his the son that he had learned to wear the faces home face office face street face host face cocktail face with all their conforming smiles like a fixed portrait smile so i have learned many things son i have learned to wear many faces like dresses home face office face street face host face cocktail face with all their conforming smiles like a fixed portrait smile in second edit the stanza so i have learned many things son i have learned to wear many faces like dresses home face office face street face host face cocktail face with all their conforming smiles like a 
instead of a bright smile. Okay. The speaker tells us that he has learned to deal with it, this unreal, insincere world by changing himself like others. He too hides his real feelings. He tells his feelings to his son. He is not showing his real feelings. Showing unreal feelings only. Now he is hiding his real feelings. He says that he has learned to wear many faces like dresses. Just like people keep changing dresses to suit different occasions, the poet has learned to behave differently in different situations. The father is not happy with, the, with all these mechanical behavior. He tells his son that he had learned to wear the faces, home face, office face, street face, host face, cocktail face, with all their conforming smiles like a portrait smile. Okay, read the stanza. And I have learned to, to laugh with only my teeth and shake hands without my heart. I have also learned to say goodbye when I mean good riddance. To say glad to meet you without being glad. And to say that he has learned to laugh with only his teeth and shake hands without his heart. He has learned to say that fits each situation instead of speaking truth. The themes are how the society changes, cultural shift, values, etc. Okay? Good riddance means a welcome loss or departure. This expression is often used as an ex exclamation. For example, the principal has finally retired and most of the teachers are saying, Good riddance. Okay. But I have learned to say goodbye when I mean good riddance. To say glad to meet you without being glad only. And to say it has been nice talking to you after being bored. Not real feelings. Only false feelings he is showing now. Read the stanza. And I have learned to, to laugh with only my teeth and shake hands without my heart. I have also learned to say goodbye when I mean good riddance. To say glad to meet you without being glad. And to say it has been nice talking to you after being bored. Once again I read the stanza. And I have learned to... To laugh with only my teeth and shake hands without my heart. And I have learned to say goodbye when I mean good riddance. To say glad to meet you without being glad. And to say it's, it has been nice talking to you after being bored. Okay. The poet admits that he has learned to laugh with only his teeth and shake hands without his heart. It's that he has learned to laugh with only his teeth and shake hands without his heart. He has learned to say that fits each situation instead of speaking truth. The themes are how the society changes. Cultural shift, values, etc. Okay. Good riddance means a welcome loss or departure. This expression is often used as an ex exclamation. For example, the principal has finally retired and most of the teachers are saying good riddance. Okay. But I have learned to say goodbye when I mean good riddance, to say glad to meet you without being glad only and to say it has been nice talking to you after being bored. Not real feelings, only false feelings he is showing now.
Give me son, I want to be what I used to be when I was like you. I want to unlearn all these muting things. Most of all, I want to relearn how to laugh for my laugh in the mirror shows only my teeth like a snake's bare fangs. Okay, one second I read the stanza. But believe me, son, I want to be what I used to be when I was like you. I want to unlearn all these muting things. Most of all, I want to relearn how to laugh. For my laugh in the mirror shows only my teeth like a snake's bare fangs. Believe him, he is telling his thoughts to his son. He wanted to be as he was a child. He wants to relearn how to laugh for my laugh in the mirror like a snake's bare fangs. He wanted to unlearn all these muting things. Muting things means reduce the strength or intensity of the thoughts. Okay? He wanted to unlearn all the false feelings. He wanted to be as before as he was a child. Okay? Show me son how to laugh. Show me how I used to laugh and smile once upon a time when I was like you. I read again this danger. So, show me son how to laugh. Show me how I used to laugh and smile once upon a time when I was like you. He was in his childhood. His son not affected by the new culture. So he asked his son to help him to regain his lost personality and go back to who he was. How he was. He expressed the desire to Unlearn whatever has forced him to learn. Okay. The poem highlights the guilt and resentment an African man feels for himself to accept the culture of Westerns. He notices marked change in the attitude of people. Those who were once so genuine, warm and sincere now suddenly turned cold and hostile. I think you understood the poem. If you don't understand, hear once again and understand the poem. Okay? Today it is enough. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.